Decision trees are very important classifiers in machine learning because of their interpretability. However, it's challenging to tune their parameters such as the depth, number of uh, leaf nodes, and so on. We'll see through a simple example how you can do it easily using Bayesian optimization. I'll share this notebook so you can play it at your own time. First, let us look at a simple vanilla training. In this training, we are using a very simple iris data set, and we're defining a train test split. We are using the decision tree classifier from scikit-learn. Again, we have not specified any hyperparameter other than the random state, so you can reproduce these results. If we train such a classifier, we'll see that it has almost perfect accuracy because it's a very simple data set. Uh, on very simpler data set, you are going to get very good accuracy. What happens when you move into some much more challenging data sets where it is not able to achieve best accuracy with its basic parameters? That's where, when you have to tune the parameters, the power of decision trees through this simple example, you can see that when you visualize a tree, you actually see how the decisions are being made. Uh, Iris data set have petal length. Based on the petal length parameter, you make first a decision whether it's kind of uh, Sentosa or not, kind of this uh, classification type problem. Uh, and if the petal length is different, kind of split, we get so on. So decision tree depth can be controlled through the hyperparameters. And based on depth and split criteria, your tree will be different. Let us take another data set. This is the breast cancer data set. Uh, it's another simpler data set, but not so simple for decision tree to get best accuracy easily. Uh, we again load the best cancer data set from the scikit-learn. Again, define the train set plate with 20% in the test setting, which we in the classifier. And let us see how the accuracy look like in the vanilla form. To train the classifier in vanilla form, you are going to get around 95% accuracy. We also see the confusion metric. This is a two class problem. Uh, whether there's a breast cancer or not. Uh, further, you can see the tree. So tree now looks a little bit uh, more complex uh, with kind of many splits happening. What can we do here? Can we make uh, this accuracy better than 95%? That's the goal. And this is where I will show you. We can do that by tuning the parameters of the decision tree. Uh, I'm going to use our Mango library. You can read more about Mango here. This Mango library was developed by me during uh, my PhD research, but it's the Bayesian optimization library, one of the state of the art out there. You can easily install it in the notebook using pip and store. Uh, next, we define the parameter search space. You see the parameter search space looks like with features, depth, splitter, what kind of criteria to use, guinea or entropy, and minimum sample split and so on. This is a large parameter search space. Actually, if you want to look at the size of this parameter search space, in the first one, we have three parameters. In the next one, we have around 20. Then we have around two. Then again, two. And then again, around 19. I'm going to put it as 20. You see, uh, if you multiply all these numbers, the search space is not that simple. It's around have 4,800 different configurations. So if you're going to use grid search, you'll end up doing a lot of trainings. This is where Mango comes in handy. Again, we are defined, going to define an objective function. This is objective function, same to what we were doing earlier, but now it will take the argument list, which is the parameters which Mango is telling to train for. We'll go through all this argument list and train the parameters. There are many different ways to use Mango. You will see in the documentation. I'm here showing one easy way. We are again going to use earlier train and test split. We were using above with 95% accuracy. So as to compare it to what Mango can do. Again, the random state of the decision tree classifier is defined just to fix the uh, what is the best accuracy we get. We define this parameter. Now we are going to run Mango directly. From for running Mango, you need to import the tuner. Tuner requires the decision uh, tree objective function and the parameter space which we are defined. Let us try to maximize this tuner. We want to maximize the accuracy. If you run it, it is going to run for like 20 iterations and within 20 iterations rather than 4,800, it is going to find us the best results. We can rerun this uh, kind of several times to see what Mango is able to do for us. And you can see in you know, each rerun, it's going to get slightly different number because there is some randomness involved and it's going to search a very vast decision boundary for us. Uh, like here, we are able to achieve around 97% accuracy. Let's rerun it again. So you'll see that kind of little bit may vary about around 97% again. Uh, you can control the configuration parameters, the number of iterations you want to search easily in Mango. And for that, I'll show you how you can do that. But after you have find the best accuracy, you can also see what are the best parameters. The best parameters are like entropy, some max depth, 
what is the features it's using, split criteria, and what is the splitter, and so on. Uh, you can again play with this notebook at your own pace. Let us look at the Mango library quickly. The Mango library is uh, available on an open source uh, GitHub uh, report from ARM. And in here, uh, you will be able to find how Mango approximates these complex decision boundaries in very few iterations, which generally may take thousands of iterations while such. I hope you like this video.